How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Vigor video. Sadly, no, this won't be the uh, gameplay commentary slash tutorial part four. Instead, what I want to do is a one and done. That means I choose any of these three maps. Obviously, I'm going to choose the most, you know, combat intensive one. And I'm going to put everything I'll show you into a blind flying playthrough. And what better map to do it than the most dangerous map in this game, in my humble, humble opinion. Scanning the lobby, that's what you always do. What do we got? You can judge how experienced a player is by the clothing that they wear. You can tell there's a guy with the SWAT vest on. I'm, I'm assuming he's played a lot of games. He could have paid for the vest. I don't know. But visually, he looks the most threatening. But in terms of weapons, he may not be. So let's go ahead and look through these people. Nothing too far. SVU, silent sniper rifle, dangerous. ZA, new weapon. He bought it, or something like that. SG-1, auto sniper, dangerous. Bugle, slightly dangerous. Another, another auto sniper. That guy, I don't trust, I don't trust him. He's a threat. MP5 and an M21. Yeah, he, he came to kill people. All right, here we go. Now, I spawned up here kind of a good spawn that means nobody's behind you but at the same time too immediately to my right i know somebody spawned and immediately down in the valley across from the house somebody else spawned you'll learn the spawning systems as you keep playing this game also what you want to do is if you spawn on a map and you know where all the buried caches are just go ahead and dig up all the spots that are nearby because you never know you may get lucky more XP for you. And I, I got a troll. I mean, I don't, I don't really know why I did, but, you know, yeah. So, two things happened. First of all, gunshots to my left. And they sounded kind of quick. So, it's probably something small. Number two, comm station. That means somebody is either... Well, actually, no, considering how close the two, the, the two were at the, beginning the, at the beginning of the map, excuse me, at the beginning of the match, I'm assuming one person is nearby both of those. So let's look. So we got a barred house right there. So somebody's in there because just said it's safe as unlocked. And over here is a signal detector and what well, looks like somebody's coming. You see, people, this is why I tell you to crouch. I heard him from miles away. Do you think he's going to hear me? No. You press down on a D-pad to change firing modes. If your weapon has a single shot function, always put it on single unless you're being chased. Then you put it on full auto. So there he is right there. Remember what I said. Wait for the perfect shot. And take into account the bullet drop. Again, I got a suppressed weapon. It's the AS Vol. It's um, pretty much yeah, the AS Vol from Battlefield 4. So, it comes with it comes with a suppressor and a thick behind scope. So it's perfect for this map. Sad thing is, it only has 11 rounds on the clip. So, that's kind of bad. By you know submachine gun standards, assault rifle standards. But what it does have is some very hard hitting ammunition. I think it takes two, if not two and a half shots to the body and they're done for. So notice him running away. Now he's going to go towards an area where there's loot. That's key because you have to stand still to loot something. Good players will loot while running. I'm a good player, so I know how to do that. He may stand up and loot something which will give me about maybe two seconds to lock in my shot and shoot him in the head remember one shot in the head and they're gone 
Now he's stalking somebody. I don't know why. Why else would he be crouched like that, moving slowly and aiming down on somebody? So now he's spooked. Now he's definitely spooked. Now there's gonna be a shadow to the right of the to the right of the rock, and I'm thinking that's him. So it's leaving me paranoid. So I'm gonna move my cursor or my crosshair to the right side of that rock, because obviously he's back there. He's pinned. He's psychologically pinned. This game is scary. Okay, this is a shooting game first and a horror game second. So he's scared. He's pinned. He's pinned himself mentally behind that rock. If he wasn't so scared mentally, he would get out and he would run. I would run if I were him. But the fact of how he's hiding shows that either he wants to come out and fight or he's healing. It could be both. So now I'm going to try to reposition. That's another option you have as an attacker. Oh, we got a ping function. That is right. Another option ha as you have as the aggressor is to relocate. Your prey will most likely be pinned behind a rock or in a bush or going prone somewhere. That is where you can manu maneuver. My friends, situational awareness is key. It's the most key thing in this game. That right there, total lack of situational awareness. First of all, he wasn't crouching. Second of all, he was only looking forward. He did not look around him. I can tell that because he didn't, you know, like, twirl his body. Your camera, well, your body follows the camera. Your head follows the camera. So... He didn't look like he had anything really big. So I'm going to push around him. I'm trying to figure out which side of the rock he's on right now. Alright, yeah. I think I'm going to go that way. Let's see if I can hear anything first. Check behind me. Make sure there's no bodies. And let's go. Move very quietly and put it on full auto just in case he comes up on top of that rock. Time to be very stealthy. Very stealthy. The element of surprise is the biggest element in this game. He's running it. Uh oh. Oh, he seen me. He yeah, he seen me. Compromised. Compromised. Alright, so he knows I'm here now. Alright. Gunfight. Here we go. Word. That's all it takes. One shot to the head, and he's gone. The AS Val, it may not have a lot of ammunition, but it's an accurate behind scoped assault rifle. I think in Battlefield 4 it's called a um, personal defense weapon, but yeah. Luckily for me, this guy had an M16. So that is free materials on top of a secondary weapon. So, he distracted me, which lost me a lot of time. My initial plan was to go to that house and see if I can find a picture. That was my initial plan. My plan in any game is to find a picture. Your plan as a new player will be different. Your plan will be to gather materials, well, excuse me, gather resources, and that's it. Your most important resource as a new player is most likely scrap metal. Because you need a lot of scrap metal to, milk, to make your crafting table. People do like to hide in bushes around here. Especially that one. Bro, is that a person? Now, see, if that was a person, they would have shot me by now. The plane is near. Get ready for the airdrop. Okay, so the airdrop is coming in. 
what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna see, yeah, because it's like literally right there in front of me. I'm gonna see if I can snatch that trap. This is what you call third person peeking. You hide your body around one corner and use the camera to look around the other corner. You can tap which side of the camera you want your, which side of the shoulder you want your camera to be on by tapping the right bumper. It'll come in very handy, especially if you're looking around a right hand corner or, or a left side corner. All right, now time to take up an overwatch position. Make sure that I don't see any bodies just like this. Granted, it's kind of hard to see anybody because it is nighttime. All right, the airdrop is literally right there. It's literally right there. Okay, let me hit the sit on detector. Oh boy, that's a person. I know you probably couldn't see it, but that's definitely a person. How did I not hit him in the head? What do you mean? Wait, wait, is he? Run. A rule of thumb in this game. If a person runs towards you, if a person runs towards you as soon as you shoot them, nine times out of ten they got a shotgun and they're closing in the range to destroy you from close range. And that's when you die. So I'm being pursued, and as far as I can tell, nobody else knows my position. So now I'm going to hit that so he doesn't know where he is at. I, at the same time, too, he doesn't know where I'm at. Because that thing hides all the markers on the map. It's called a disruptive tower. And it's not all markers in the map. My, my apologies. It's all markers in your area. It's a certain circumference, not circumference, diameter around that antenna that marks away everything. So now what I'm doing is I'm trying to bait him out. He sees me walking on this. No, we hide. He sees me walking on this side of the, of the mountain. So he's probably going to take a shot or two. That will get, let him. See, you're never safe in this game. Ever. I don't even see him. I don't even see him at all. Where is he at? But yeah, I was trying to bait him out. So that way, if he shoots me, I see the tracer and I locate his position. Obviously, I got the high ground. I have a higher chance of hitting his body, body than he does me. Because I got the high ground. He doesn't. I'm shooting down on him. He's shooting up at me. Get rid of this ping real quick. Alright. I need to start using that more, to be honest. It'll help y'all see what I'm seeing, too. I really can't see him. Okay, well. Uh, here comes the radiation. I still don't see anybody. You know what? Screw it. Let's leave. Knowing when to choose your battles and to stay in battles is more important than actually winning the battle. Because any guy can go into a fight, but the smart guy will go into a fight that he knows he has a fighting chance or can win. I don't know where those two guys are at. They're both down there. They both are. And who knows, two more people may be down there too. I don't know. Going for the signal detector will be suicide at that point. There it's, as far as we know, there are two guys down there, and there could be more. Yes, the signal detector will let you know who's all around you, but what if two people are watching you? As soon as you run away, they shoot you, and the timer goes off of you looking at everybody. Now there is a secret exit in this little cave right here. I'm gonna see if it's open. This 
water is a dead giveaway too. If you want to get discovered, go into water. It also slows you down too, so easy death trap. Project M16, in case anybody in here. That sounds like the same guy that was shooting me earlier. Oh, got some more loot in here. Nobody even been in here yet. That's crazy. And the door is open. Let's go. Okay, nobody followed me. Wonderful. They won't get a chance either, because we won't close the door. Bam. Guaranteed safety. This is the only time or the only exit that is guaranteed safety. Especially if you close the door. I mean, you can get a guy that will shoot through the, the bars on a door and hit you in the head. That's very much a possibility. But other times, yeah, once you close that door behind you, you're fine. And you close that door so nobody else can follow you. Yeah, it wasn't really a profitable run, but I would take a zero run over a run where I lose everything. It's better to be plus than zero. It's better to be zero than negative. If that makes any sense. And yeah. That's pretty much that game. Now what you should do as a new player. When you come back to your house. Is immediately dis. Or not dis. Unequip. Everything that you discovered in the encounter. And everything that you took with you in the first place. Because you could have took. I don't know. Like an M16 and left with two rounds and came back well two clips and came back with three clips you want to save the extra clip so take all of it off and then put the two back on and yeah thank you for watching and peace